Hello, welcome, I'm Ellie, and it's almost time for Santa's visit. Actually, Santa's visit is like all like a month away at this stage, but this is the Lego version of Santa's visit, which is, I mean, better because we can build it now and enjoy it all the time till Christmas. This is this year's Christmas release to add to your Lego Christmas village if you have one. And I just love this time of the year. I love getting out all the Christmas sets and setting them all up near the Christmas tree. And this one is gonna be a doozy. It's so cute. I thought last year's gingerbread house was amazing, but this one is, I just didn't think that they could do as well, but this is so good. So we've got, ooh, batteries included. Exciting, because Lego needs batteries. What is this one to two? And there's three people on that. What does that mean? Do you need one to two people to build this? Does it take one to two people to lift it? Is this a team effort? I don't understand what that means, but I do love all these. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. Look at these little minions on the back. Okay, so there are 1,445 pieces in this. It's $160 here in Australia. If you can get your hands on it, I would suggest you go ahead and do so because these things, yeah, they are, they're hard to get, harder to get the closer to Christmas you get. So get on it if you want a Christmas set. Do it now, now, now. Okay, so we have got a little tiny sheet of stickers, not many here, which is nice. A little book and a big book and a whole lot of bags of building materials, aka Lego. This is where I love to be, right? So let's start off. This includes a little family. We meet each of the minifigures as we go along. So the dad, I mean, I'm assuming he's the dad. He could be an uncle. He could be a granddad. He could be a brother of the family. You know, you just, you, you, these characters can be whoever you like, but I love his mustache. It's got a nice cozy red scarf, ready for the, ready for the Christmas spirit. It's full of Christmas spirit. And he's got a, an envelope and that, I haven't seen that new printing of the envelope. Have I? Have I? It's definitely new. Well, is it? Hold on, now I'm confusing myself. It, it seems new to me. Ah, okay, all right. But because this is me, we need to make a mini doll version of this minifigure because I'm going to convert this build to work with mini dolls. So we're going to pinch this dude's hair and we're going to put it on my mini doll version of... Oh, we don't have a scarf. Okay, so the minifigure scarves do not fit mini dolls. So lucky I have got a scarf that I made. It's a Gryffindor scarf, but you know what? It is red-ish and it, that makes it cheerful. And now I'm concerned for this poor dude because... Okay, yeah, his arms are going to get cold. This is a very wintry scene. And even though I love this top with the braces, we need something a bit warmer. So maybe having long sleeves with a, with a vest might be a bit warmer. I don't know whether all of these patterns really go with the, like, the argyle patterning on the vest and then the stripes. Yeah, the stripes on the scarf is a bit much. So let's try this one. I mean, this top's brown like the original minifigure, so that's a bit more true to replacement, you know, colour to colour. Kind of, you know, I'm pretending I'm trying to replace. That looks all right. It's not ideal, but it, it'll do. So we'll go with this. I never realized how short the sleeves are on the mini doll male sleeves. They're only like a three quarter length. His, his wrists are going to get cold. Anywho, I have made a mini doll version of the kid in this build who doesn't turn up until many, many packets in. But uh, I wanted I, I wanted to bring mine in early <laughs> so she can get in on the action. Otherwise, it's no fun. Totally. Right. Okay. So we've got, we've got a dad figure and we've got the little kid and we're going to start the actual building following the instructions. So first up, we have got a snowy scene with a fence and we get to actually fill the fence out with these single bricks stacked up on either side and then some snowy drifts go in front and they add some really nice form and dimension. This is so nice. Oh, and a pebble path coming out of the gate. And this little, oh, they, they make, doesn't that make a perfect little fencing? I love that. Okay, and there's a bit of snow sitting on the top. And this builds up one side of the fence, adds a bit of Christmas cheer, a bit of holly. And on the top of it, we have got a snow-topped pole. With, with a lamp on it. Oh, wow, that's a new frosted cylinder. Ooh, with that satin, that satin finish on it, that effervescence. Ooh, that's exciting. That looks really cute. And this is, ah, oh, this is the mailbox. This is a really, really nice build for a mailbox. Isn't that perfectly contained? That's really good. I mean, there's no, you can't put a letter in it. So, or a card, you know, I, I assume that the dad's there collecting the card out of the letterbox. And you can't fit anything into it. It's just for show, but it is so tidy. I love it. Now we have got, this is what the batteries included were for, for our little light brick here, which goes into this pedestal that we have just built. And the pedestal is at the base. 
Now hold on. Yeah, that's where pedestals normally are. <laughs> it's at the base of our Christmas tree and that light is going to be shining upwards. So there are all these clear pieces being integrated into the Christmas tree build. You'll notice as we go up, there are all these see-through bits which are strategically placed so that the light can glow out, like peek out from underneath. <laughs> that peak was a bit excited, but I am. I'm very, very excited. It's almost Christmas. You'll have to forgive me. I'm almost always excited, but it's Christmas soon, soon. So yeah, so the light is going to be able to shine through these transparent pieces, which is so cool. I can't wait to get to the end of this and have a go. So oh, little single clear bits up here. This is, oh, this is a real, I, I have built a lot of Christmas trees over the years, like Lego Christmas trees. They're always a different design and they're always... You would think it'd be monotonous, but it isn't. They're always interesting. This one's so pretty with the little baubles. The bauble colors are gorgeous. Baubles actually really hard to say. Baubles. I feel as though I need to have some queen poshness in there because the baubles are quite difficult to pronounce. Okay, right, okay. Focusing on what's actually happening here. We have got our Christmas tree done. Let's put it on the pedestal. And when you press down, it activates the light. You can just see it peeking through. Let's make it dark. Look at that glow. I mean, it's a gimmick, but it's really, really cute. There's just enough glow to look through, and it actually shines all the way through the crystal at the top as well. You can't leave it on, which is probably a good thing, because there are only those little button batteries inside, so they're not going to last for very long. But yeah, it's a cute gimmick. You can press down and make it glow. I love that. So we have got a little outside snow front entryway for the house ready to go. We've got the Christmas tree all lit up, ready to go. Now we need some things to go under the Christmas tree, as in presents. So we've got a little house and a tree and a car and a, oh, a crystal red present with a white flower on it. A purple rectangular present. These are nice. I love the mix of colors and a rocket, a rocket here. This is interesting that, hold on, let's build, what else we got? I'm starting to be, okay, so we've also got, oh, look at that binocular, binocular, binocular. Is that a singular of binoculars? So this is a trumpet. So we've got a whole heap of presents here that are stereotypically things that boys like. Lego has included a girl in this build. So this girl is getting a whole heap of stereotypically boy presents. That would be fine. I also want to see a reverse build where a boy gets a whole heap of stereotypically girl presents. Let's see that happen, Lego. I want to see you be brave. Let's, let's make it happen. Okay, so we have got our light up Christmas tree. We have got some beautiful presents to go under it. And now, now we get to open up. Yeah, no, don't touch this presents yet. It is not Christmas Day. <laughs> We're up to bag number two. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, we're going to start on the house. But before we do that, we introduce the mum in this set. Or she could be the aunt. Or she could be the, the dad's sister. <laughs> Which would make her the aunt. Okay, I'm confusing myself. But my point is, these characters can be whoever you want them to be. They do not need to be a mum, a dad, and a kid. You can have whatever configuration you would like. She's got a cup and she... Oh, we're going to turn her into a mini doll. So... Christmas, oh, I love it. I've got a Christmas sweater, so perfect. I don't have a purple one, so I can't match the colors, but uh, but I, I really like my version. <laughs> my version of what's gonna be the mum for me in this build. We got the mum, we got dad, and we've got the little girl. <laughs> oh, I do love me a happy family Christmas. Right, let's get started on this house. So, all right, we're gonna make this super speedy to get into the actual interior of it because there's a lot of floor work to build up and it's really cool because it is angled. It's not just a flat on, flat on plan. So that's the middle part. These bits are going to go on either side and then, yeah, it makes a nice, uh, a, like a pop out kind of display. Does that make sense? Anyway, it will make sense when you see it because it looks so cool. All right, so we have got this side on. We need to do the mirror image of this for the other side. Just making sure that everything goes on where it's supposed to be. I love the fact that Lego's used some nice bright red pieces in there to make sure that I can yeah, easily follow where things are supposed to go in. So this is the floor plan. You can see the snowy bits outside and the brown bits are what's going to be inside. This is the front entryway right in the middle, slap bang in the middle. Now we start, I mean, we're, we're already into getting the walls up. The brown walls over here. This area over here is the kitchen and it's getting tiled flooring. Beautiful tile flooring with white and tan alternating. These two colors are so 
they're so soft and gentle together I really like them and on this side this is where the the chimney's going to be the fireplace this piece the brown rounded around a bit I think that's brand new in this color oh see those quarter pie gray pieces they fit in behind that hinged bit I didn't think you could fit anything in there that's that's really cool. I'll have to remember that you can do that. All right, so walls are going up over here. That's why do we have a rod in there? I don't know. We're going to find out. We've got a purple present hiding in the corner. There are actually presents stashed behind stuff in this house as you build it. And you only know they're there if you're building it because you can't see them once you build stuff in front of it. So it's <laughs> so cool. I love little Easter eggs. Well, they're not. They're little Christmas, Christmas presents. This is what the rod is for. It's for our flame. The, fl the flame, which is very dangerously able to tip down straight onto that green rug in front, set the whole house on fire. Merry Christmas. No, that's not what it's for. It's just Lego. But yeah, they do flip down for reasons, <laughs> not just for science, but for reasons that we will find out. So we're now making some really nice little snow drifts on the outside. Just so it adds to the contour. It's so nice. And we're up to bag number three. And now we get to start putting some furniture in this house. So first up, we start furnishing the kitchen with a kitchen sink. Everything but the kitchen sink. This is such a cute design for the kitchen sink. I love how you've even got the pipe going underneath, going down to the to the little tile piece there, that little angle tile piece. Oh, it's so old on. I was so excited about doing furniture, but we have to do a bit more wall work first. Walls, work on the walls. Do a nice line of dark blue all the way around. The navy blue, which is one of my favorite colors, looks so nice. Build up the chimney a bit. The chimney's getting some really nice, uh, oh, I'm a pirate, uh, and I'm not. Some, some texture with some different brickwork going on, in on over there. <laughs> I don't think that was English. And this slide bit, can you guess? I mean, do you. <laughs> We're setting this chimney up to get Santa down it so he can slide straight down into the fireplace. <laughs> so exciting! But now we get some furniture. So these are the kitchen cabinets in sage green, or it's called sand green in, in Lego, I think this color, but it's such a beautiful sage color. And these are going over here and then we have a little corner that we need to build another one to poke into. Little wraparound kitchen. So very, very nice. I like that. Isn't that so pretty? There's not enough room actually to put these spare cups into the sink. So that's a bit of a shame. The sink is just there for show. <laughs> just like at my house. That's how it feels. I'm the only person who seems to know how to <laughs> use it properly. Anywho, this is the oven. Like it very much. It's also tidy. Now, what have we got? This is... I don't know what this is. We have a whole heap of, oh, the little cylinders. They, it's a stack of wood next to the fire. So you don't have to go outside into the cold. <laughs> this is really, really nice. And on the kitchen bench, we have got a freshly baked loaf of bread. I'm assuming that's what it is. That's, I mean, what else could it be? You'd have to use your imagination though. And over here, very, very important at Christmas time because of all the baking that is going to be going on, a really nice build of a mix master in red because red goes faster. We all know that. That's a lovely little build. That's so cute. Okay, and a, and a saucepan. No, frying pan. Frying pan. Lovely. I think the kitchen is doing really well. I don't think we can fit anything more into that. So now heading onto the outside, a whole heap of these green claws on the windowsill, alternating them with the cherries, turn, uh, turn them into things that they aren't. They're not green claws and cherries anymore. They're mistletoe hung outside on the windowsill ledges. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. All right, and the windows, how are we gonna be putting? Oh, there's a little bird on that snow-capped windowsill. That's adorable. We got another snow-capped windowsill here and then same thing over there. That's so beautiful. Isn't it just so charming? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I've just used a whole heap of synonyms basically to say it's great. I love it. This is so much fun. We're up to bag number four. We're gonna leave this here for today because as per usual, there is a lot to see and I don't want to rush through it. So make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so that you get notified when the next video goes up because you don't want to miss it because it'd be like missing Christmas, right? It wouldn't be, but still, you know, I might be over-exaggerating that. Anyway, I will see you in the next part of this build really soon. Check back in. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye.